Okay, let us now look at question 4. For question 4, let us read the question together. Steel can be hardened by quenching red hot steel with water. 100 kg of red hot steel at 700 degrees Celsius is submerged in 30 kg of hot water, sorry, cold water at 20 degrees Celsius. The water reaches boiling point almost instantaneously and boil until the steel is cooled uniformly to 100 degrees Celsius. You are basically asked to determine the mass of water that was boiled off. And we shall call this M. Okay. So let's look at how to do the question. Now the question is carried out in stages. So one way we can analyze the question is analyze at uh, analyze for each of the object in the system what is happening to them. So there are generally two things in the system, the steel and the water. For the steel it's quite simple. It starts off as a solid which was at 700 degrees Celsius and it ends up still as a solid which is now at 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, so there was no state change um, and we know that simply the heat that is given off is given by mc delta theta. Now for water is a bit more complicated because what you simply have is you have um, it's starting off as a liquid of is it 30? Yes, 30 kg and at 20 degrees Celsius and finally part of it is converted into liquid at 100 degrees all of them is actually converted to liquid at 100 degrees Celsius but part of the liquid stays at 100 degrees Celsius but part of the liquid is being vaporized okay and it's in gaseous state at 100 degrees Celsius so we can see that for the first part of the process the heat required will be defined by mc delta theta all right um, and for the second part of the process the heat uh, required would actually be ml but since not all is actually vaporized so what we want to determine is actually this m this is the mass of our interest but in uh, overall what we can see is that the steel is actually um, losing heat okay and the water is actually gaining heat So by conservation of energy, assuming that there is no other heat losses to the surrounding, and this is valid because it says that it's almost instantaneous, the process, all right? So then what we can simply say is that um, the heat lost by the steel must be equal to the heat gain. By the water. So giving it appropriate symbols, we can write, for example, mass of steel, the specific heat capacity of steel, times the change in temperature of the steel, must be equals the heat gained by the water in just increasing its temperature, all right, plus the amount of water that was vaporized that actually gains some heat as well okay and that forms our equation and what we want to do is we want to find the mass of the steam and so we make it the subject of the formula so simplifying what we will have is the mass of steel the specific heat capacity of steel times the change in temperature of the steam Steel, subtract away the mass of the water, specific heat capacity of the water, times the change in temperature of the water, and we divide the whole thing by the latent heat of vaporization. Okay, with that, 
you can now substitute in your values and we will have uh, 100 kg the specific heat capacity is 500 joules per kg per kelvin multiply by 700 minus 100 subtract 30 4,200 4, times 100 minus 20. There's no need for me to convert to Kelvin because the common factor will actually cancel off when you do the subtraction. Just make sure you're working in SI units for the rest. 10 to the power of 6 and punching it into the calculator you should have 8.8 .8 kg and if you go back to the question that should work out to be option A and that's the answer